Well, back here at one of the cemeteries that I've done in the past, uh, it's one that they have hours set of when you can be here to visit. Um, so pretty much these ones like this we have to do during the day. I know in the fall when the time changes, it is dark before it closes, so we do get to come up for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half on uh, some of the investigations that we do. I uh, just heard a voice. Um, I have had, I can't say a whole lot of activity here, but I have gotten some K2 readings. I hear voices. I've heard uh, sounds around me. There is one little section here. It's kind of like a little children's section of, uh, I don't know if it's, I don't know, I guess they're, they're, they're children that died that nobody wanted or somebody just got rid of them. Um, so they have no names, they know they just have on the markers boy or girl of uh, what it is. Uh, I have had quite a bit of uh, action there and we'll get over to that little area. I want to see if I can't get a little bit more response this time. Um, we're going to kind of walk around through here and uh, I got my partner with me. I uh, just teamed up and uh, his first time he's been here so we're probably going to separate here. He'll have his video going and I'll have mine going and and uh, you know maybe have a better chance of one of us pick it up on something. Got water sprinklers back there going. Oh yeah. So, yeah they tell everybody else with the drought going on don't right. use your water, don't be watering your grass. <laughs> but yeah, places like this or, you know, um, government post office or, uh, you know, water all they water all they want and nobody says anything to them. Uh, They're allowed to do it, but the rest of us aren't. No, man. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video. We're going to kind of walk around and start back down here in the old section and see what all we come up with. Back down here in the memorial wall. Nah. That's kind of kind of need all the soldiers that served for our country. Mm. You know, um, Civil War, it's got World War One, World War Two, oh, wow. Korean War, Vietnam. Um, I think it even has the um, first Gulf War. No. What? What was it? It was before the Civil War. What? Uh, uh, the Revolutionary? Yeah, the Revolutionary War. Wow. You know, getting posted down here with a few. And the ones that are on this wall mm -hmm. are ones that are buried here. Oh, wow. You know, so. Of, uh, I guess you could call famous people. Iraq, Vietnam, Korean, World War II, World War One, Civil War. Cherokee, Indian War, Spanish American War. So oh, eighteen eighty seven, I know that one's here. Fought in that war. That's probably the earliest grave here, or maybe the earliest one that's recognizable. I don't know. An old oak tree over there. Yeah. Um, information I found on this mm -hmm. first sailors that came in here was from I want to say Georgia maybe mm -hmm. not sure I don't remember it's been a while ago but they went back home mm -hmm. um, and all the lot or not all, I don't know about all of them but a lot of the trees that are in here mm -hmm. he brought back from Georgia oh, wow. and planted here 
Don't we? So I don't know if it's like these big type trees. Yeah. That were planted here or what kind of tree it was, I don't remember. But supposedly you know, that's where a lot of these trees come from, Georgia. Oh, wow. Somewhere down in that area, Georgia, or um, better, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it was Georgia. You better fly over there. Yeah. Uh, where are those game sites? It'd just be flat slab on the ground. I was thinking it was right in here. Of course, got kind of mausoleum types over there. that they brought from the other cemetery over here. Hmm. I was thinking it was right here. That might be it right over there. I see some flat stone on the ground. Yeah, I think that's them right there. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, maybe ten. Kind of hard to see them. I mean, you can't can't read them. I don't know if it looks like it might have been one right there. But supposedly these are the. 13 it was in the first cemetery in this area but the thing about these were that they wouldn't allow anybody else to be buried in that cemetery with them so uh, they opened up this cemetery and then I don't know how long after they opened this one up they did development over there at that cemetery mm -hmm. so they consumed them and moved them all over here so, back then they didn't want nobody else buried with them, but now they're buried with somebody else. I don't know how that went over with them in their afterlife. They probably <laughs> didn't like it much, I'm sure, but they're here, whether they had wanted to be here or not. Hey, spirits, they're here. You know, you're welcome to come and join us. We're here visiting. Um... <clears throat> You come over and interact with us, communicate with us. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, a little hit there. Add it too. Want to properly introduce ourselves uh, in case you don't know. Here we go. In case you don't know who we are, my name is Tim. And my name is Tim also. And uh, we're here just videoing and. And, uh, you know, saying if we can't communicate with you, if you'd be willing. These devices we use, I'll tell you a little bit about them. They will not harm you. Um, they were devices that were made especially for you to where you'd be able to, you know, kind of show us that you are here with us. We have little black boxes in our hand that has lights on them, a little green light. If you get close to it and light it up, 
it, it'll change colors for us. It just lets us know that you're here. And of course, the other device we have in our hand, these are cameras that you're welcome to come and get your picture taken if you like. You're still getting some hits a little bit. Yeah. Well. You come get your picture taken or? Whoa. Right here. Big spike. Yeah, I had one right here. I got kind of like a, a chill on my arm too. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I like can't, can't really see the hair going up on my arm, but. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much for touching these if you're here with us. Let's go. Big time. Awesome. Thank you very much. You can follow us around here. We're going to kind of walk around. You know, anybody here that wants to come interact with us, feel free. Where was that there? Definitely on the... I see Sid William Richards. Okay. I don't remember what these were. He uh, born in Athens, April 1891. Uh, oh, he was a billionaire. Yeah, definitely getting some K2 readings here. Y'all kind of active here this morning, which is awesome. Appreciate that. But he was he was a billionaire. Oh man, is what it's saying there. Oh. Billionaire bachelor. Dang. Uh, dealt with cattle. Oh, so yeah, back in those days, cattle was a lot. So he said he tripled his money making 3500 after he got out of high school. Whatever's here, it's definitely around. I'm thinking this is kind of one of the areas that, that I got some readings. Because, yeah, because I think I set up my uh, K2 rim pod and stuff like that over here. Didn't get nothing off the rim pod, but the K2s would go off like crazy. Of course, didn't have the cat balls right. back then. Anybody here with us, feel free to follow us around or come say hi. Got another little spike right there. Mm -hmm. Not much energy, but yeah, they got getting, getting a little bit. They're not malfunctioning. I can definitely vouch for that. Yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> feels good during the morning. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll get that heat during the day, and by the time sun goes down, it's still hot. But, I mean, if you're going to do any daytime uh, investigating or research, you definitely got to do it in the morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. I was going to say, I felt like a cold energy or a static energy walk by me. I feel my right As I was walk, walking here, and, and mine kind of flickered a, uh, a little bit, but then yours goes crazy. It wanted to come over and visit you. A lot of children buried in this cemetery too, which is kind of sad because they never had a chance to enjoy life. Yeah. Moles. No. I didn't tell you a story about back when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. Um, a lot of us uh, on the weekend, we do all kinds of crazy stuff as kids, you know, no, didn't I, I didn't do. Well, we decided to go into a cemetery back home. Uh oh. And, uh, you know, one of my friends, he was. He, he was a black boy, you know, and uh, we were up there walking through the cemetery at night time. You know, of course, we were playing where we hide and see if we couldn't scare the oh, crap yeah, out of the other person. <laughs> Anyways, we were walking across the cemetery, and there was a soft spot in the ground. Oh. I mean, he sunk to his knees in Dang. the ground. And, of course, he screamed, oh, they got me, they got me, they're taking me. You know, we, 
Now, we had to laugh our ass off at him, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we couldn't get him to go back to the cemetery with us ever again. Oh, no. He would, he, we'd go towards the cemetery and say, oh, we're going to cut through here. He said, I'll meet you on the other side. He would go around. Yeah. You know, he wouldn't walk through the cemetery. Uh, I mean, we heckled him, I don't know for how long about that. Oh, no. Yeah, we, uh, we had played out in six of our goats for many times. That teenager was going up. Yep, there we go. Well, it was jumping. Uh, uh, uh. It's kind of like in spots. It's almost like they're out here walking around for their morning kind of stroll. Yeah. You know, walking around, drinking their coffee, smoking their cigarette, whatever they did back in those days. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more K2 readings than I've gotten in the past. Yeah. These are those, um, I've been told that they were slaves. Mm -hmm is what these stones are here where they were buried oh well you know oh definitely getting some readings my heart on my pet keep coming too close to me okay. Anyone here, these uh, little black boxes we got in our hand, if you come and touch them, they'll light up different colors. It just shows us that you are here with us. Yeah, because I mean, there's no power lines around us. There's no source of energy, really. Mm, yeah, you know, yeah. unless there's something to do with the ground that's putting out, you know, some kind of EMF uh, readings. But, yeah. you know, I've been through here before and never got anything so watch me spring or something going off on hey watch me run <laughs> which y'all, don't man. happen very often but right. <laughs> instead of getting I mean if it had been like one or two o'clock in the afternoon I'd probably shut off my camera stick it under my shirt and let it have at it there you go they cool me off <laughs> Be like a kid reliving a, my childhood life, playing in the sprinkler in the water. Yeah. I've got another historical marker here. I'm sure I've read these in some of my other past videos, but this is John Matthews McDonald. Oh, I think this is the one that uh, well, I don't know. There's one place I went that it was a McDonald. And he's the one that opened a franchise at McDonald's. Wow. But I don't remember where that was at. I don't know if that was in this state or another state. Anyway, the vines just barely holding that branch up. Or, you know, Be like Tarzan, you want to go swinging? Sure. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's like like I walked through a spider web, but I didn't see no spider web. But I didn't either. But it's just like like something touched me right there. Yeah. Someone just come up and touch me. Can you do that again? Something here. Yeah. Are you following us around? Yes. We don't mind at all. I mean, you can follow us all over here. We may pull out a device here in a little bit where you can talk with us, where we can hear your voice. Maybe you have something you'd like to tell us. There's something over here, but I don't know if there's a house or something back over that way a little ways or not. I 
could be an animal too. Yeah. Or for those that were buried there. But see, we couldn't see it before when we came through and parked. Right. You know, you got that wall right there. Oh, well. We're we gonna get some more spikes here too. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm feeling the uh, energy here today. Yeah, chill all the way red on this. Maybe tell us who you are. We like to get to know you. Steve? Sounded like I heard a Steve. Steve, are you here with us? Can you tell me yes? Steve? Here? Be awesome if I could get one of you come over here and touch this little ball over here that's sitting on this bench. There's a little ball right here. Well, there's two of them. But if you see, you see them? Yeah, they light up different colors, almost like a little Christmas tree. I have them sitting right here on the bench. It'll reset, it'll shut off. Wind probably did that. Um, if you can, Please come over and touch one of those little items. Make them light up for us. It'll just show us that you are here with us. And that you do hear us and see us. Is there anyone that can come do that? Um, yeah, now you want to come over here and interact after I turned everything off? Or you just felt like you were trapped over there in that corner maybe? Maybe we should have just given you a little bit more space. It lights up different colors. It's kind of pretty. I'm going to set it down right here. Yeah, that's awesome. That's all you gotta do is just come over and touch these little devices. Either the one in Tim's hand, it lights up different colors. Or there's one over there sitting on the ground, the same thing he has. Or you get down on the ground the higher it goes. Yeah, well, I mean, they're gonna be low. Oh, yeah. You know, if there's children. There's a little ball right there you can play with. Come over there and roll it, touch it, kick it, whatever you wanna do. It's okay, you're not going to get in trouble. If I'm too close, I'll move back over here. So maybe you won't feel like you're scared. Yeah, a little bit. Too much of a steady pattern. Well, uh, something in the ground like that. No? No? I'm sure it can't be a fence. No. No, what you got that word? Well, I mean, you got close to it there. It went red. Yeah. I mean, that it was holding some kind of a charge or something. But yeah. I don't know. 